Hi, and welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Geraldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all of the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, most importantly, having fun while doing it. So let's get right to it. My first guest has made it her life's mission to help kids get fit. She is a Grammy-nominated artist, and she is here to talk about how she's helping children all around the country get healthy. Please welcome Miss Amy. Thank you so much Hi, for Ms. having Amy. me. How are you? I'm great today. How are you? Thanks for being here. I'm terrific. Yeah, excited. So let's um, so let's get right to it. What's what's the Amy mission? What's the, so the Miss Amy mission is to make music uh, fit for kids. And I've done this for over 20 years now. And wow. as I've been on my journey, mm -hmm. um, I've been trained in a lot of different phys physical disciplines which have helped in live performance because I see that kids want to move. Zero, right. zero to eight is really my demographic. And these kids want permission to move. So I give them permission to move in a way that's uh, integrating within the song. Right. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's underpinning some foundational fitness for them, which is really mm. good. Because I want each kid to kind of go away with a, a sense of confidence okay. and a sense that they could um, then adopt their athletic identity, which doesn't necessarily mm. have to do with being, oh, I'm a basketball player only, or oh, I only play hockey, or oh, okay. I only play soccer. They're athletic and moving beings. So that's what I want them to come away with. From and that. it really doesn't take too much to entice them to do that, right? Oh, no. Just the, <laughs> How easy is yeah, it? Yeah, three chords and the truth. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. Right? Um, it's a lot of fun. It's just it's really be just being an authentic self and being willing to be you know, on the floor with them, up mm -hmm. in the air with them, moving Right. around with them um, and again giving them permission to move in ways that would uh, would help to build their foundation as far as fitness is concerned like moving mm. across the midline okay um, balancing um, uh, moving in a, in a way that that is um, that you know you on different levels high middle and right. low okay. so you know using all of those things that help uh, strength endurance and um, and balance mm. overall okay so, so what about the kids that are a little you know, hesitant to do it. Is there like a little formula that you use to get sure. them to come in, or what, what do you use? Uh, well, uh, besides quacking like a duck sometimes, <laughs> which I've been known to do, <laughs> which um, works, right? A lot of the, a lot of times, it's just it's a guitar, and then it's also letting those kids be those kids. They're being their authentic selves. There are four different specific learning styles, mm -hmm. and whether they're visual, tactile, kinesthetic, or um, audio, okay. you want to be able to appeal to all of those with the kids. So in my okay. show, I use props. Mm -hmm. I I use um, uh, d different call and response with the kids. Right. I use uh, visual where, you know, hey, follow me kind mm -hmm. of things. And um, sooner or later, that kid will come out of their shell. Okay. And then uh, it, it is what it is for them based on their involvement. Right. And what do you want the teachers to know? Uh, right. I want teachers to know so much. Today, we've, we've, we've heard some interesting things with the new national activity plan coming right. out this month. Mm -hmm. Uh, we know how important it is for kids to get a required uh, activity level up right. during the school day. So I want teachers to know that there is clinical and, and scientific research that says mm -hmm. that if you are more physically active, your test scores will improve. Physical activity right. improves academic performance. Period. Period. End of story. You know, since No Child Left Behind in mm -hmm. 2001, 44% um, of administrators across the country have cut out important things like right. physical education. Right. And so we're seeing that feed into, oh, you got to teach the test. We got to get their scores up. Okay. Scores have to do with money. Right. You know, get it back down to the, where the teachers are. The teachers are on the front line. Right. Give them permission to do some things in their classroom. Just mm. if it's moving, getting up and moving your body right. every 20 minutes, right. your brain doesn't go to sleep, mm -hmm. you're more receptive to learning, right. um, learning sticks in the brain and can be recalled in a certain way. So I want teachers to know, and I'll say it again. Say it again. I'm going to say it again. Say it again. That <laughs> academic performance is very closely linked to physical activity. Period. Period. So yeah. how did you start your musical career then? Um, I started my musical career because I was in, a, my husband and I had a very difficult pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Our son, who is now 20, I'll say that he's healthy, I oh, can good. tell you that now. God bless. Uh, thank you. Um, was born at 29 and a half weeks and a full pregnancy oh, wow. is 40 weeks. Right. Um, I had already been, my husband and I had already been singers mm -hmm. and I'd already been interested in health and wellness, but this really brought that that whole experience home. When Philip was born, he was uh, no bigger than your hand. Wow. He was in wow. an isolate for three and a half months uh -huh. in the NICU 
and one of the ways that I connected with him was singing to him and holding him, uh, what they call kangarooing him, mm -hmm. so that he could feel my heart beating, that we could still be connected in a way. Wow. And so I started writing lullabies and things like that. And as he got older, um, I, I wasn't working outside of mm -hmm. the home anymore. I needed to be the full-time, you know, caregiver for him. Right. So I began to take him to libraries and to different um, places where kids would gather, just small, you know, intimate type things. And uh, I realized. There are a lot of parents out there who right. want to get out with their kids and do something with them. So I started, you know, playing guitar and singing, and, and you know, it all went from there. Yeah, it all, yeah. Kind of all, it together, all went right? from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. tips. Some tips that you can give to the parents that can make a difference for the kids. What are some things they can do for them? Oh well, it gets back to the three basics, and I think you've talked about them a lot on your show. And okay. that would be sleep. That okay. would be nutrition, mm -hmm. right? And that would be physical activity. So okay. all three of those things need to work into con in concert, mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't have to be that difficult. It can right. be, okay, um, did we go for a walk today? How right. about walking to school? If right. you're close to your elementary school, let's walk the kids to school today. Okay. You have to kind of make those little tweaks in your lifestyle as they fit. Right. Yeah. So tell me quickly about mm. your book. I know you have a book out. So I do tell have a me book. So quickly tell me about uh, your book. This book is for teachers. It's a, a resource guide and it has 114 cross-connection lesson plans. Mm -hmm. So if the teacher is teaching something in literature right. and they're uh, learning uh, maybe about stars mm -hmm. and science, that they can take one of these songs that, that I've done on the um, the Grammy-nominated album and get up and move with the kids. So instead of just playing the chicken right, dance right, right. in the classroom, <laughs> you can you have some other options. So uh, so this is this is why I wrote this book and I've been presenting this at teachers' conferences mm -hmm. throughout the country. And I just recently returned from the Southwest okay. Virginia Early Childhood Conference presenting to teachers, and awesome. hopefully they'll take those with them. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank I you really so much for having it. me. Thanks, Holly. What fun! What Thanks. fun! Thanks. Okay, guys, from strong and healthy kids to becoming resilient adults, ahead, wellness coach Dr. Tina Chata shares ways to help us all face life's toughest challenges. And guess what? There's an app for it too. That and more when Healthy Lifestyle returns after the break. <laughs>